Hey everybody. Hi. I'm everybody. Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures and we're back. It's been a little bit. Long week. <laughs> um, We've been to St. Louis and back and uh, painted at Luke's and back. We did a clean out. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on. We have a lot of things on our plate to do yet. We did a lot of things. Uh, we wanted to get a video out. It's been a while. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a lot to cover. We have some West Souls. We want to talk about the estate sale that we cleaned out. Um, and we just want to touch on a few things. Now, I want you to know ahead of time, if you're just here to see the West Souls, or if you're just here to see like the estate sale clean out that we did, then I am making chapters. I started making chapters in all the videos. Nice. So you can skip if you want to skip see. the rambling in our stories, if you check the description of the video, it'll show chapters. And there you can just jump right to the West Souls if that's just what you want to see, or if you just want to see estate sale footage, whatever. Um, but if you like our rambling and us just telling kind of about our life, then uh, that's what we're here for, is to ramble and be really boring or something. <laughs> Carry right, so on. Stick around. <laughs> okay, Donna, what do you want to start with? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> when you last when when you last left us, when we last left you, we were going to go do an estate sale clean out. We had every intention of making a full video about the clean out from when we first got there, how it all looked, kind of show you some things, to when we were done walking through the house when we were completely done. However, we just got bits and pieces, but I think you can see kind of the gist of things. Yeah, we we didn't we, yeah. it was very busy there. There were people there when we first started and we didn't oh, think about yeah. it, so we didn't film until we were like two hours in and then at the very end when we got it all cleaned out and everything we didn't film at the end we forgot the lady was there there was a couple other people there um get picking up things so it was just kind of chaos it was a lot of work we worked really really hard oh my goodness um and so we do have footage from that so should we just jump into that just jump right in yeah let's do that all right here's that footage hey everybody my apologies you can tell we're not youtubers first uh because we've been here almost two hours and forgot to film anything so i'm just gonna kind of give you a rundown of what it looks like now there's our u-haul haven't started loading anything yet basically we have a big empty dumpster which is nice all chemical type things we have to take with us we can't just throw them in the dumpster got some furniture here uh nordic track i believe i might just keep that here's the garage um lots of stuff here power tools some older power tools lots of stuff but man they sold a lot of stuff uh file cabinet there's a nice stop sign you use in the garage when you're parking except we don't use our garage for parking there's some records left the typical stuff um random garage stuff there's a twin bed do something with that let's go take a trip through the house i i've been working out here oh i almost forgot Let's go to the, like the backyard area. That's what I was cleaning when I remembered we haven't filmed anything. So this, when they had the sale, this was full of stuff. And then this backyard area was just lined. A bunch of Christmas stuff and stuff and stuff. So here's what's left back here. We'll clean all this stuff up. You know, we're taking all this stuff, keeping it. We sort as we go. It's nice to have a dumpster here so we don't have to like to make runs to the dumps but we do throw away stuff i've had a couple concerned citizens come by concerned that we just throw everything away so no we don't throw everything away we donate we resell and we throw away so let's go take a walk through the house see what it looks like now say hi ruth oh hi say okay hi. say say hi again ruth hi all right <laughs> yeah i forgot about filming there's donna um so i was just gonna kind of they've been they've been uh taking care of things in here it's like the chair has a broken stick the room in here with a whole bunch of books and stuff there's luke say hi luke uh, <laughs> luke is our kid from alaska yes anything you want to say don uh no i'm feeling better thank you everybody who said they hope that i feel better soon so i'm feeling better i still sound a little bit funny but yeah you sound funny all the time shut up all right <laughs> moving on <laughs> Got two rooms back here not a lot in here uh this one no furniture it's a floor rug blankets pillows whatever here we have a few furniture pieces really nice dresser that's pretty nice 
desk, just some cabinets, a bunch of sewing type stuff. Um, not too bad. Let's go to the living room. And this is probably all packed up pretty much. Yeah, it is. They've packed up all the pretties that were in here. Yeah, a few storage things, a couple little cabinets, Got a kitchen table here. Um, yeah, this is these boxes. And in here, there's just, they got all this packed up too. So just a few things around. Then let's go take a look in the basement. We should find a Larry roaming around down here somewhere. Oh yeah. We got this back room here. A couple pieces of furniture. He's been packing things up. And then these totes, they have stuff in them like decorations and stuff. We'll get rid of all this stuff. This little file cabinet has a safe. We do have the com combination for so it's kind of a cool old piece. File cabinet with safe. Um, back over here, just a little bit of Christmas decor. Another file cabinet. Books. Always love the books. Here's a old school dresser. We will pull that out of here and sell it. Um, random decor. It's pretty beat cabinet here. This will just go break it down, put it in the dumpster. Bunch of frames. Very rickety little shelf here. It has a lot of wobble. Don't mess with that much. Um, some clothes. Another file cabinet looking thing. This stays. And then back here there's some glassware. A big old, big old crystal ball. That's about it. That's where we're at. We've been here for, like I said, almost two hours. And we just keep on plugging away. It's really nice to have the dumpster. Uh, just instead of, because when we don't have a dumpster, we have to literally make runs to the dumps. But then they close at certain times and it makes it a lot more difficult. But, well, I'm going to keep working so I don't get in trouble with the boss. And we'll check in later. I know this ain't good footage, but it is 10 to 6. It's almost dark. We have been working very, very hard for five hours, and I'm so frustrated at people because we're here trying to do a job, and people just show up, and all of a sudden we come outside, and there's people standing on the end of the dumpster, and they're going through the dumpster. I, at one point, there was like four people around the dumpster, and I had to tell them, hey, you know what? You're gonna come do this. Do it after we're gone. When we're done tomorrow or when we're gone, come back and do it then. Not while we're sitting here trying to work. I'm so frustrated right now. Um, we got a lot done. I would love to show you, but we're already, Donna's finished and shutting off the lights. I'm just frustrated. People make me angry. I'm scared to death that we're gonna come back and there's gonna be stuff all over the ground. Um, I hope not. If so, you'll see it. So I'll bring the camera back, but yeah, I'm just frustrated. We got the van is completely full of boxes. The trailer is pretty full, single layer, not stacked or anything, but just some furniture pieces. We're going to go now to storage and empty it. And then we might come back and work some more, but we're probably going to wait. We're coming here at nine in the morning and then we'll get the rest of the furniture. We'll finish up. I really want to be done unloaded and home by like two o'clock just so i can have time to shower and you know relax and stuff before the football game but it's a big job guys and it'd be a lot easier if people would leave us alone and let us do our work but it was constant I'm, i think there's probably neighbors just watching waiting for us to pull away and just be here digging but whatever what are you gonna do you know i just hope there's not a mess in the morning Morning, Donna. Good morning. So, all right. Well, there's not a big mess here, but Look, they were sitting in this corner. People definitely like got up in there and because this stuff was not sticking up this high. There's some things on the side here, and we got to have this kind of level. They pulled out some stuff because there's a lot more room for us now. So, I guess as long as they didn't make a mess, I really don't care, right? 
So we'll have to level it back out, but we can live with that. All right, it's about 8.20 in the morning. We have uh, friends coming at 8.30 to help us. So we got about 10 minutes, so I was gonna show you around. I wish we would have had footage like from the beginning and shown you more detailed of what there was, but it is what it is. This is where we're at, so. Here we go. Oh, we didn't do it. We didn't film it all up last night. Oh, we didn't? No, we were tired. Okay. Well, that was me. That was you. Steve was tired and crabby. But he's better today. I'm ready to get it done. <laughs> okay, so we've got a few bags. And we've got a few pieces of furniture. Just a few. The door needs to be put back on, but that's not our job. This switch. Leave that on, yeah. Um, we've got that big table. Some boxes. This room is now empty. Just one, one. Can't take pictures of it there. I gotta put it in the living room. Well, it was there last night. I don't know. I wasn't taking pictures last night. So Steve's gonna take a few pictures of things. He still might be a tiny bit grumpy. <laughs> things down here to get. This room we've got to haul upstairs. So I've got these items left to get. Ruth helped pack them all yesterday, Ruth and Larry. And then I've got that monster to get. Just a few more things over here. The washer and dryer stay. And we gotta take that out to the dumpster. So, got some heavy lifting to do today, but shouldn't take too long. We should be able to get back for the Super Bowl. What's your favorite part about that, Donna? <laughs> She's like, I don't even know where we're going with this. <laughs> um, we did get some jewelry so that'll be fun um costume jewelry to do and steve did put some furniture on a uh, dollar auction so that's going to end today yeah the big piece of furniture we have in storage and they're going to end today but yeah, yeah we didn't see when we first got there we should have filmed like because we could showed the jewelry and yeah. showed this and that and we just it was chaos. This was a very big, There very were a lot, job. a lot of books. And so um, Luke was able to get a whole wheelbarrow full of books. Um, he's our historical kiddo. And um, so that was fun. We got some piano books. So we'll put that on. Um, yeah. But it was just a normal clean out. It was just a lot of work. So yeah. there's that. And then let's and just And so go. now our garage and our storage unit is pretty full. But we yeah. will... We'll get through it. And then this Sunday, we have another uh, clean out. This Sunday's, the sale is last day is Saturday. Yeah. So when we go Sunday, it should just be us. We should be able to film and show what all is there and, so and film throughout it. So we'll try to do a better job. But last weekend, it was just chaos. Yes. Our last video was about the eBay was dead, right? So what did we do for that weekend while we had this clean out going on? We did, we put our store on 20% off to see if that would help. We started it Friday afternoon. We ended it Sunday uh, at kickoff, right? At kickoff of yeah. the game, we ended it 20% off almost all of our store, everything except for like the stuff that was listed in the last month or two. And we did sell 17 things. We're not going to go over those. Those are already shipped and gone and delivered. Yep. Um, but it did help to put our store on sale. So then Monday... We left for St. Louis, so we put our our uh, store on time away. And, and sometimes I think that seems to help because we got a lot of bigger sales. Yeah, we so. got we got a few really nice sales out of it on time away mode, and we it is now Thursday, so it's it was on time away for like three days, and now I'm going to ship today, and we have 15 things to ship out, which in four days' time is not a lot of things, but for being on time away mode, we're really happy with that. Yeah. All right, we're going to take a moment and reset because we're both very exhausted and very tired and a little bit snippy. 
I come, I kind of was being a little snippy to my wife, and I don't want to do that because I love her very much, and I enjoy our life, and I enjoy what we do. You don't have to put that on there. I can put whatever I want on here. It's my video. Uh, yeah, so we pulled everything, and we're just going to show you the what solds because we're really tired. We have lots <laughs> to do, and so we just want to do this so we can get the stuff shipped so we can move on to the next thing. So, you ready? All right, Donna, what's first? This little guy, he is a whistle. You should blow it. No, I'm not going to blow it. I'm just kidding. He's a whistle. Uh, it says vintage Aztec clay wind instrument crocodile terracotta music whistle is what it says. Oh, you put it right in the shadow. <laughs> there, there he is. And he sold. He came from a garage sale in Arkansas and he sold for $19.99. Yes. And then we have this windmill. <clears throat> this is a geocaching thing, isn't it? Yes, it is a, what do they call them? Geocoin. Uh, it has a, what it is, people make different, uh, usually they're coins, but this one's not a coin. And then they Where's have the codes, number? the numbers on the back of one of the windmill things. Yeah, it's right in here, but you can't read it because... Yeah, they're they're trackable, so you can... They're collectible things, they're trackables, and that was unactivated windmill, sold for $45, and it weighs 8.1 ounces. <laughs> this is a Life Point, Life Print Wireless Printer. Uh, this is going to Mexico. It's just printer only, and it sold for $20 plus shipping. This is a... Vintage Van Briggle Art Pottery Flower Vase Burgundy Mulberry, six and a half inches tall. So that sold for how much, Donna? I don't Do you remember. Forty remember? something. Thirty six ninety nine. Thirty six. That was a good sale. Yeah. And all these things were on time away, so everybody's fine waiting for their stuff. This is a what? How you pronounce it? Bustilla. Bustilla cross stitch kit from nineteen ninety six. I love Santa. Uh, is the kit and that sold for $17.99 Christmas sells even in February this is a I would say a, a homeschooling book maybe or just a work on at home book for fourth grade for math and sold for $8.99 got a pair of shoes Ann Klein is it Ann Klein or Annie Klein Ann Ann Klein Ann Klein shoes sold for $13 that came from uh, the Big Ravens clean out oh yeah this is a pair I know I got these while thrifting somewhere these are steel, steel toe. toe yeah uh, no garage sale for five dollars they're brand new steel toe Reebok work shoes and they sold for thirty dollars plus shipping nice this is a vintage 70s or 80s Dodger fitted hat uh, I thought it would do better. It's been on for quite a while. I've lowered the price a couple times, and I got an offer this morning for $20, and I had it at $30. I just took it just to move it along. So $20 plus shipping. There's a little tie, baby. He holds your phone. Ta da Hold just your like phone. That. Yeah. And he, where'd we get him? Garage sale. Garage sale for $1, and he sold for $10 plus shipping. Okay, this... Came you, from the storage unit, or I mean the estate sale we just cleaned out. We bought this when we went shopping on the estate sale. Yeah, I think I showed this one. I showed this one in the next one in the last video. This is the bridal set. <coughs> it sold for seventeen fifty. We paid five dollars for that. And this is a Chrissy uh, swing and play. This is from. Let me see if they get the year. This is from two thousand and one. It's brand new, sealed. And this baby, we sold, we got it for five dollars, and it sold for seventy four ninety nine. That's awesome. No, it did not come from the estate sale. It this sold for seventy four ninety nine. Yeah, this came from a buyout. That buyout that we did a couple weeks ago that we mm -hmm. showed. Mm -hmm. So, that's awesome. Different buyers though. Yes, different buyers. Now, what do you got here? This is the tic tac toe football game. The little goal posts. Mm -hmm. These are metal. The goal posts, posts are metal. Speaking of metal, I went to Pantera last night. It was awesome. And then the tic-tac-toe are um, helmet and footballs to play tic-tac-toe. Cool. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And that came from a garage sale? 
Uh, it says the bins, actually. The good oh, bins. Oh, seriously? That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, that's been on for a while. <clears throat> oh, we got some toner here. Brother ink toner. I'm trying to find it. Uh, it says garage sale, and it sold for $18 plus shipping. Open. Probably I mean, didn't pay open. much of anything for it. And then the last sale we got is $149.99, and it is a Danbury Mint Plug Express train set. Oh, all these different trains and cars with pugs from Danbury Mint. And yeah, we list, I listed that just like a week and a half ago. And the styrofoam's in bad shape. We don't have the box, but it sold for $149.99 plus shipping. So that's what sold while we were on time away mode. We are now off time away I mode. I think time away mode does really good. Yeah, we've never. <laughs> I think it does. Anytime we've ever been gone, we've never came back and been like, man, we really didn't sell anything. We always sell stuff on time away mode. Mm hmm. Maybe we should just be on time away mode more often. Even Maybe, when we're here. you know, every other week we put it on time away mode for a day or two. No. I don't know about that, it, but I'm... It seems to do pretty well for yeah. us. I'm thinking about doing... I will enjoyed the 20% off sale because it is. It has been slow lately and it did move a lot of things. Yep. 17 things in Gives less a, than two days. a little bump. Uh, gave it a little bump, but we didn't list any of the stuff that was in the last month or two. We didn't list it all last week because I was sick. Um, you listed one or two here or there, but I didn't didn't list yeah. on eBay. Um, and St. Louis was a whirlwind. Oh my goodness! The night before we left, we were up till two two thirty in the morning of shipping um, and working on things, and we had to get up at seven thirty in the morning to take our dogs to where they stayed. Yes. Drove to St. Louis, and it was just a whirlwind there. We went to a lot of different places. We enjoyed the birthday. Uh, me and our daughter went out the first night. And went and hit a couple of bars downtown, just the two of us. It was a Monday night, so it was really quiet. Uh, we had some drinks and we had some fun. And then the next night, it, the next day was just running all over town. Oh, and then, man. All over town. And then the girls went to the shop. concert. You yeah. got to shop when it's your birthday. Yeah, except the Goodwill Bins. We didn't get we to drove, go. We drove by the Goodwill Bins. Go. And no, Jada said, she saw it. And Donna says, there's the Goodwill Bins. And Jada said, oh, heck no. We are not going there on my birthday. <laughs> So we didn't. Maybe we'll go back for my birthday. There you go. Or maybe yeah. we'll just go back for a business trip. On our way to Kentucky or a work something. Trip. Yeah. Um, and then they went to the show. And so by the time the show didn't get over till like midnight. So by the time they got back to the room and we went to bed, it was like 1 30 in the morning. And we had to get up at 4 30 in the morning. Because why? Because our 21 year old had to get back to class. That's how dedicated she, she is. She's in her yeah, junior she, year. She didn't and, want to miss class at 12 30 in the afternoon. Yeah. So we were out in the parking lot pulling out at 5 a.m. So kudos to her. And drove happy back birthday, and, Jada. Yeah. And it's just been crazy. And like I said, we have another clean out this Sunday. Which should be, like I said, just us, so we can well, film Maddie's better, I think. Well, Maddie's going to help us. Well, but I just mean, like, the owners, oh, I don't think yeah, they're going to yeah. be there. The estate sale company, they're going to be all done. So, uh, it should be much quieter. Uh, hopefully, it goes well. We're going to go to the estate sale today and check it out. Maybe we'll find a bunch of good things to buy. The Maybe thing we'll with have the to... last estate sale that we did was there was a dumpster there. And we had never done one with a dumpster there before, which was great. Um but it was there overnight. And so when we came back the next morning, it had been gone through. And like a fourth of it was gone. Maybe not a fourth, but yeah, there was a lot like there was a lot more room through, in the dumpster, which yeah. I appreciated. <laughs> I went through the whole thing. So that was unusual for us. And then people kept coming and kept wanting to take things. And so that was kind of weird for us. So this time there won't be a dumpster and it'll be our normal type cleanup. Yeah, it'll actually be the day after the last day of the sale. Yeah. Because even when the sale was over, the sale had been over for two or three hours, and I was working outside in the garage, and people just kept coming wanting to shop. And I let them a couple times, but then, like, they wouldn't leave. And then, of course, they wanted it for, like, little to nothing or nothing. And I'm just like, okay, y'all need to go. This is ridiculous. But it's just... We had one just... time where people were flocking to the dumpster and digging in the dumpster while we were there, and that becomes a liability. And we just... And it was strange. It was, it was unusual for us. Yeah. So... This next one will be better. We'll take you along for that. Yeah. Anyway, that's about it. We're just trying to catch up. We're just playing catch up, and we're both... going to go take pictures. I did some last night, so we're going to go finish that so we can post today. 
and he's going to ship. So. Yep. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what what the future holds for us next. But for now, yeah, that's yeah. what we're going to do. So thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with us, tolerating us, even when we're exhausted and a little bit snippy. But one person already said we need to have more patience with each other. So, so have soon, a little patience. As soon as she has a little more patience with me, we're going to be good. Oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. We're going to go. We got stuff to do. So um, anything else, Donna? That's it. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We do really appreciate you. Yes, and, and for everyone who subscribed, that was awesome. Thank you. Just yes. keeps going up and up and up. So thank you, everybody. Yes. All right. Well, I'm Steve. I'm Donna. We're Happy Heart Treasures. See you on the next one. Bye.